Well, a new drug for prostate cancer patients who have run out of options is now on the market, and it was discovered by the legendary Dr. Phil Lau at Purdue University. It marks the second FDA approval in less than six months for discoveries made in his lab. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thank you, Gary. The latest FDA approval is for Pluvicto to treat advanced stage prostate cancer for patients who haven't responded to other treatments. Healthcare giant Novartis picked up the therapy when it purchased Lau's Purdue-based startup Endocyte back in 2018 for the price tag of $2 billion. And joining me now to tell us more and to reflect on his very rich legacy at Purdue is Dr. Lau, Purdue's Presidential Scholar for Drug Discovery. Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's my pleasure, Kylie. Glad to be here. Well, let's talk first about Pluvicto. Can you explain in basic terms what it is and why it's so significant for patients? Yeah, Pluvicto is a simple medicine that uh, simply concentrates radioactivity only in cancer cells and avoids their uptake by adjacent healthy cells. Pluvicto specifically has the uh, property of targeting the radioactivity to prostate cancer cells. And um, by um, increasing their concentration in these malignant cells, uh, it leads to the rapid death of the malignant cells and preservation of the life of the adjacent healthy cells. So it's a very targeted therapy that avoids damage to healthy tissues. Well, it's one of so many things you've done at Purdue. You've been at Purdue for 46 years, and it <laughs> yeah. seems it's like now things are kind of coming rapid fire for you. In yeah. 2018, you sold Indosite for $2 billion. You've started seven companies. This is your second FDA approval in less than six months. Do you feel like all these years of hard work now is starting to pay off? Yeah, um, it's been very re rewarding to finally see a few of these uh, drugs that we've been optimizing in the pipeline for many years uh, make it through the very arduous process of FDA approval and finally being um, approved for uh, distribution to people. And um, what's even more rewarding, frankly, is are the emails that I frequently receive from patients that benefit from these medicines. They acknowledge how uh, much it has helped their health and how happy they are and how it enables them to you know, be with their families longer and enjoy a greater, better quality of life. So that's extremely rewarding. So 46 years, I have to think, I mean, don't you want to retire? Don't, you need to rest. <laughs> it's such a long time. Well, I, I have thought often about retirement. As a matter of fact, I speak with my wife often about it. But in all fairness, um, ideas come to me very e easily and very rapidly. And I have so many really good ideas for treating such diseases as rheumatoid arthritis, Alzheimer's, uh, uh, influenza, and COVID-19 infections. And we have projects in each of these areas, including, you know, projects on treating fibrotic diseases like pulmonary fibrosis and even bone fractures and uh, matters of this simple nature. So I would feel that almost uh, negligent of me to um, retire now and not do what I can do for people that are still suffering from these various you know, pathologies and maladies. So I, We only have about 30 yeah, seconds left, yeah, but I do yeah, want to mention yeah. uh, you have uh, something in the pipeline for malaria, and yeah. that could be your next FDA approval. Can you just touch on that? Yeah, we've developed a method that traps the malaria parasite inside its host cell, the red blood cell, and uh, by trapping it inside, it, it prevents the parasite from um, proliferating and it's uh, outperforming any malaria medicine to date and as a matter of fact we're seeing a um, virtually 100 percent cures in 48 hours and that's remarkable so we're intending to complete the um, the uh, approval process for that and make it free of charge available to everybody in the world that's so incredible we are a superstar boilermaker we're honored <laughs> to have you here thanks for coming uh, thank you for the opportunity <laughs>